Hello everyone, my name is Andreas Mendonca, and my associate Yara Zabib and I are fifth-year architectural candidates from Florida Atlantic University's School of Architecture. We will be presenting to you our precedent study for the course Advanced Computational Modeling, in which we were tasked to recreate a building parametrically, utilizing only grasshopper scripting and algorithmic design. The Louvre Abu Dhabi is an art and civilization museum located on the Sadia Island Cultural District in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Construction took place between 2013 and 2017, designed by Pritzker Prize-winning architect Adelaide Jean Nouvelle at a construction cost of roughly $108 million U.S. The museum carries a 950,400 square foot steel dome with a complex geometric pattern of 7,850 stars inspired by Islamic geometry. Weighing in at 7,500 tons, the dome sits roughly 36 meters above the ground and is comprised of eight superimposed layers of the geometry in various sizes and angles and a radial polygonal truss, resulting in a cinematic effect of light throughout the year, dubbed the Reign of Light. This project aims to recreate the dome using parametric tools and explores the application of different Islamic geometry projections. Illustrated in the diagram to the right is the core of the parametric dome that encompasses the Louvre complex in Abu Dhabi. A simple circle extruded into a dome that is defined by four catenary curves. These curves are interpolated by 11 control points. While the knot vector varies for each point, the catenary curves allow an associated weight of one through each. This allows the surface geometry of the circle to be extruded over the curves and into a dome. This functions much the same way as a NURB surface does, but provides equidistant and equilateral extrusion by way of these control points, which define the plane of the dome. To construct a faceted dome, we start by assembling seven lines throughout a circle, and each one is assigned to a script that constructs a catenary curve. Each curve is divided and shattered to achieve a faceted sphere. The script uses a U-force in the Z direction, then uses springs and kangaroo to create a flexible, curving geometry with a smoother surface. Set at different heights, they are lofted into an untrimmed, faceted half-sphere surface. For the curvature analysis portion, the curvature analysis script provides lists of points under various analysis components, including control points, endpoints, and the option to evaluate points along the curves. Using divide on the lofted surface allows for a number of divisions on the dome. Surface box provides control of the height of the division projection. The original geometry of the Louvre Abu Dhabi is constructed by overlapping two squares at a 90 degree and 45 degree angle. The geometry is then extruded and capped and defined a square boundary. Each set of geometry may then be projected onto the divided surface. A new geometry is constructed based on the number of surface divisions. The dome of the Louvre Abu Dhabi is comprised of eight superimposed layers of the geometry in various sizes and angles. Each subsequent layer is rotated at 15 degree increments and is then increased in size roughly 10% from its preceding layer. The dome is layered with 15 by 15, 20 by 20, and 30 by 30 grids. On the left here, you can see the original angular geometric star pattern, and on the right, the new more curvilinear geometry that we proposed to see the differences in light penetration and heat dissipation. The project design proposal utilizes the same composition and surface division grid. Results from DIVA's climate-based daylighting factor analysis exhibits a slight difference in daylighting with the alternative design proposal. With a more compact geometry, the daylighting factor is slightly less with a cooler effect. To construct the truss, a polygon is introduced and arrayed in a radial grid. The size, the number of axes, and the amount of repeated curves are defined on the radial polygon grid. The radial geometry is then extruded, and the surface dome is extruded in the Z direction across the bottom half of the truss extrusion as the first half of the surface difference. The same dome is then extruded across the top half of the truss extrusion and plugged into the surface difference with the remaining geometry. 
This leaves a thin portion of the truss extrusion. To preserve the truss as a set of members, the surface difference output is plugged into wires and pipes for varying thicknesses of the members. The site and building masses are constructed by extruding each group of masses that are the same height. Illustrated here, you can see how the parameters control the extrusion height of each volumetric massing by utilizing a number slider. Renderings of the final composition illustrate the brain of flight, iconic to the Louvre Abu Dhabi. That concludes our presentation. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.